Hey everyone, it's Shalek UK Rider here, and today's video is a newly updated September Barn Tour. Okay, without further ado, let's get started with the video. Okay, so at the entrance to the stables, we have two sides, if you like. So on the first left-hand side, we have a sign saying, Welcome to the Rainbow Riding Ranch. And then there's a big rock behind it and some nice fencing. And on the other side, we have the speed limit, another big rock, and some more nice fencing. <laughs> Coming down the driveway, and to the left, we have a very impressive, nice brass horse statue, and that's just behind the sign. If you carry on down, you'll come to um, our first horse. So our horse here is Jupiter, and he is a Tinker Stallion, and riding Jupiter is Abigail, and they're just going on a nice hack, and Jupiter's wearing some nice western tack. If you carry on down the driveway, you'll come to an entrance to one of the paddocks, um, but we're going to keep on going down the driveway and come back to that later. So, if we continue down the driveway, you will eventually come to the car park. So, in the car park, surprisingly, we have some cars. Um, I don't know what else you'd find in a car park. There's just three cars in spaces, and we've got this rock stuff st down on the floor. And to the left, we have a very small sign um, saying the way to the reception in the main barn. So if we follow the sign round, you'll come to the main barn. So, on the first wall of the main barn, there's just this big sign saying, Welcome to the Rainbow Riding Ranch. And it has some very nice fence and a very cute little doorbell. And it rings a bell in the tack room, and I'll show you that in a minute. But on the other side, we have a sign saying, What you can do at the Rainbow Riding Ranch, and a list of things. And then over here, we have some very cute horse... Horses? I don't know what they are. They're horse stickers, so they're just there. And then there's a poster. And on the other side, there's a picture of a horse, a no smoking sign, and a horses have right of way sign, I guess. And, of course, it has some fencing. And you may have noticed in the middle here, we have a gate. And it has a very cute horseshoe on it, though I doubt my camera's going to focus on that. There we go, it's very pretty. And the gate can actually chain up and lock the stables. I'm not gonna try that one-handed, it's kind of fiddly. And then it also can swing round and um, make an extra stable, like a spare stable, kind of an overflow one if there's too many horses. Um, but it can't at the moment because um, in here is the tack room. So, in the tack room, on the back wall, we have a bridle and a saddle that are not being used. <gasps> There's a boot. It fell off the shelf. Okay, no, it's fine. I fixed it. And on the other side, we have a load of martingales that aren't being used. And a lot of empty hooks, which is kind of depressing. <laughs> on the other wall, we have a poster. Very random, but it looks nice. Um, and a lot more hooks with head collars and a very nice fly mask. I'm quite proud of that fly mask. It's adjustable. <laughs> um, and then on the shelf below that stuff, there's a rosette, um, some boots that are now back on the shelf, and a horse teddy that is very sweet. It's got a very cute face. On the f front wall of the tack room, um, we have a very sophisticated horse painting 
And over here we have a poster of loads of different breeds of horses and colours and that sort of thing. Below them we have a blue horse teddy, some mints in a little bottle and a first aid kit. Below all of that stuff we have a huge crate full of numbers and this person is trying to get some numbers. Um, I've forgotten her name but yeah she's just trying to get some numbers that's all you need to know. And then we have a sack, a, another crate, a chair and a bucket. Now over here at the desk we have Beth and she's on working at reception and she's got her little horse book here and she is the person that you go to and you have to sign in before your lesson um, and then you know go to your lesson so there's Beth and these two people um, this is Zach and his son Oscar has got a riding lesson and they're just checking in and behind Oscar and Zach is Sophia and she's just signing herself in too and I almost forgot, here is the bell for the doorbell. Yeah, so very small and cute. Okay, so that's it for the tack room. If you come down to the next door, um, the first horse in here is Cora, our Frisian mare, and she's just enjoying some hay. And outside of her stable is a big poster of her, some attack up point, a hook, and some treats and a carrot in a bucket. Down from her we have our Andalusian stallion Poseidon and Poseidon is, shares a hay net with Cora and outside of his stable is a very nice blue head collar and an empty saddle rack. Down again we have Warrior and Warrior is our quarter horse stallion and he's got an empty hay net in there. And outside his stable is some Western Tack. On the very back wall, we just have two saddle holders that aren't being used and a very nice horse painting. Across from Warrior, we have our very cute Halfling Stallion, Ace. And in his stable right now is quite a lot of people. This is Amelia, and she's giving a lesson um, to those little children. And they're learning the different parts of a horse. And because Ace is well behaved, they're just using him as a demo. <laughs> and Ace is eating from a very big hay net. And he has a salt lick in there. And outside of his stable is a huge polo mint. Um, yeah, so he's, gonna, he's quite lucky. <laughs> Down again from Ace, we have Katie, who is our very pretty quarter horse mare, and she is licking her giant polo mint right now. And in she she shares a hay net with Ace, and also out front of her stable is our little one of the barn dogs, Mrs. McGregor, and she is a pug. And I don't know, it looks like she wants some polo mint too, though. And also on Katie's stable is a very nice painting of a peacock and a stack of hay and a lone apple. Down again from Katie is an empty stable, though the horse that goes in here is Mystery and she's Sarah's horse. And so out front is all her tack and head collar and there's also a trophy. It's got giraffes on but it kind of looks quite cool. Down from Mystery Stable we have one of the prize stallions here and his name is Hunter and he is the retired Tennessee Walker stallion and he is one of my favourite shellac and he's got a hay net in there, a very big one and out front he has his show jumping tack and a big first place ribbon thing. I think he's admiring it. Okay, so I think that is it for the main barn. Okay, so back out the front and turning to the left. Um, it's kind of the arenas are that way. 
Um, but we're gonna go this way to the rest of the stables and that sort of thing. So if you come on down here, oh, there's a little cat called OJ, who's wearing a nice collar. Over here, we have Harry, and he's moving some hay using a wheelbarrow. And up the ladder, we have some people that are just having fun on the building. Yeah, I'm really not sure if they're supposed to be up there. It doesn't look that safe, but never mind. Um, down here, we have some signs saying um, where stuff is. So there's this way to the arenas and that way to the trail rides. In this stable here, in the first stall, we have our Tinker Mare Boomerang. And yeah, she's just there and she's got a salt lick and a big tub of water in the back there and a nice poster, picture, I don't know, outside her stall. And on the other side, we have Alana, and she's just saying hello to Beauty, our Andalusian mare. And Beauty has, like Boomerang, got a salt lick and some water and a picture in the back. And on the corner of this barn is a sash with some horseshoes on it. It's just there for decoration. Out the front here is a tack-up point, um, it's got three different like tack-up areas and um, in, the only one being used right now is by Prue Ooh. and this is, and Prue is tacking up her horse Firefly and Firefly is a Hanoverian mare and Prue's just tightening her girth and um, Firefly has got her bridle there and a brush on the floor and um, in my last barn tour some people were saying that Firefly is a Lipizzana. Um, though I just say she's a Hanoverian because when I bought her off the Shellac website um, in like what the set included it just said a Hanoverian mare so I don't know I'm, I'm just say a Hanoverian she does look like a Lipizzana though. Behind Firefly is a very cute baby horse poster and there's kind of an entrance way here and this is like my favorite bit of the whole barn it's got two new wash stalls that i recently made and two more stables so in the first stable here is chica linda or chica um proves one of prue's horses and she's a thoroughbred mare and she has a salt lick and a bucket of grass and in the stall down from her is the very handsome Top Thorn, and he is a Frisian stallion. And he's got some grass and a salt lick and a little window to look out of. Uh, across from him, there's some hooks with cleaning stuff and two saddlebags. And here we have Ava, and she's just grabbing some supplies from the little bucket of stuff and in there's some um, horse balm brushes sponges that sort of thing um yeah that's basically it in the second wash stall we have another one of my favorites and this is flame and he's a hanoverian gelding and he's wearing a very nice rug and he's about to be put in his stable he's just had a nice bath so he's quite happy down from flame is our big Clydesdale gelding Fled, not Fled, Fred, <laughs> um, and he's having a shower, and in between their two wash stalls is a big western saddle that I made, um, and I hand stitched it, it's really cool, and then there's some bug spray, and yeah, that's basically it for this area. So coming to the right, you'll get to a very nice horse statue that I made. And if you keep on coming down, there's an alleyway down there that leads to a feed room and tack room. They will come to that in a minute. And then down, well, further to the right, <laughs> there is the show barn. So the privately owned horses are put in here. And yeah, let's get started. So on the first wall, there's a, just a big sign saying the show barn. And there's a nice ramp with flowers up into it. And t 
to the right in the first little stable we have Bandit and Bandit is a Camarage Stallion and he's got some hay in there and a poster. In the next temporary stable down is Wildfire, our Arabian Stallion and he's got a poster and some hay in there and him and Tango um, are just being led out to the paddocks by Sarah and Tango is a Pintabian and next to Tango is Sarah's horse Mystery and Mystery just follows Sarah around everywhere so yeah but it's just a threesome of kind of Arabian breeds <laughs> in the other temporary stables we have um, Fudge and Fudge is a Dartmoor pony stallion and he's in a really bad mood at the moment and he's kicked over his hay so yeah no one's going near him and next to Fudge we have Fleur and she's just sat on her horse Churro in the stable for no reason <laughs> and they have some hay in there for Churro. Behind Tango we have in the first big stable we have Millie a Nabstrapper mare and she's got a huge hay net and a big table outside of her stable and a sign that says privately owned horses and not to feed them. She's also got a lot of bedding and a nice painting. Behind Millie is two of our thoroughbreds and in the big mare in the back is Venus and she's a thoroughbred and her little foal here is Tempest and they have a big hay net and some bedding in the back and some posters out the front. Down from Tempest we have um, Summer, our big shire mare and her little foal in the back is Belle and Belle is a Clydesdale but she kind of looks similar to Summer so I just have them together. And next to them is Prince and he is our big shire stallion and he's got some bedding and hay and I think he's posing to look like that painting up there it's quite funny um yeah so that's it and he's just got a poster out the front coming back down we have a Treakner stallion called Blaze and he's just eating from a hay net and he's got a painting and yeah that's pretty much it for the show barn to the right of the show barn is our, where our little wagon's kept and in the back is a load of harnesses that aren't being used. And if we come to the, um, to the left and we're going to go back down the alleyway, um, so you come down here and in there's Topthorn with his little window and down here there's Flame and you'll come to our big feed room and blanket storage and second tack room basically. So in the back there is just a load of blankets. Um, I'm not going to go through all of them because you know what a blanket looks like. It's just a blanket. <laughs> um, and then on the other side is a big crate that has even more numbers in. A grooming kit, tack cleaning, hoof picks, just stuff in it. There's a wheelbarrow and in here we have our two very naughty mini Shetland foals. This is Patch and this is Ginger Nut and they have escaped from their pen and found their way into the feed room where they're just going to destroy it basically. <laughs> and on the wall of Boomerang and Beauty's stable is a big feed chart and there's a lot of food and stuff beneath it and it's just saying what each horse should have to eat. Okay so we're back out the front, um, back out of the alleyway and if you come to the left you'll get to the horse exerciser where you can tie up your horse and exercise it but there's no one on it right now. Um, so coming further to the left you'll come to our stallions paddock and checking on the stallions right now we have Eddie and yeah he's just about to go in with them and the first guy here is Victory our thoroughbred stallion and behind him 
is Hades, and Hades is a Frisian stallion. He's the retired Frisian stallion. He's really nice. I really like him. Though he's a bit wobbly, so I'm just using the barn to pop him up. <laughs> and behind him, we have Orlando, and Orlando is a Mustang stallion, and they have a big hay bale and water in the back there. So that's that for that section of the barn. And if we come over here where these people have miraculously not fallen off yet, and to the left of that, you'll come to our jump storage area. So in here we have a load of jumps, jump poles, jump panels, that sort of thing. And over here, um, outside our big arena, we have Rosa and she's just helping adjust Lizzie's stirrups and they're going out for a hack together and there's a mounting block behind there and Sunshine, um, the horse, <laughs> isn't Shalek, as you might have noticed he's bright yellow and he just kind of fits Shalek um, so I just use him with my stables but I mean he's bright yellow so I'm thinking of repainting him and yeah, he's wearing a numner that's way too big for him. So, poor Sunshine's not doing great. And over here, further to the left, we have a nice tree. A nice tree. <laughs> Coming to the left of the nice tree, you'll get to our main arena. And outside is lots of riding crops you can borrow. And a big water feeder um, for horses after they come well, either in or out, they can have a drink. And inside right now is Lucky, and she is riding our Lipizzana mare Glimmer, and they're doing some trot pole work. Across from them is our indoor arena, as you might have guessed. Um, and outside it is a vet, and there's a person called Albert, and they're doing a checkup on these wild horses that <laughs> do star in the Summer Adventure series. Um, so in there, well, they're being kept in the indoor arena right now because there's nowhere else to keep them um, for the time being. So in here, they've got a big water feeder and lots of hay and it's quite dirty. Um, so the big horse here in the front is Boris and he's a Tinker Stallion. Over here we have Rocky and he's an Appaloosa Stallion. Here we have Moana and she's a Mustang Filly. And here we have Spirit and he's a Mustang Stallion. In the back corner is Angel and she's a Tennessee Walker mare. And in over here we have Monty and he's a Camarage Stallion. Over here we have Pocahontas and she is a, well she's the special Pinto mare. She's very pretty. And here is her yearling, Bubbles, and he's a Pinto too. Over here is Autumn, and she's an Appaloosa mare. So those guys are just hanging out in there for now, though they do look a bit unsettled. And over here to the left is another kind of storage area for jumps. So we just have a load more poles, like lots more poles. and. Uh, cross country pole. I'm not really sure what this is or what it's doing there, but it's just it's just there. We have a wheelbarrow and a crate and some more jump bases. So to the left of that area, we have our dressage arena or small arena, and there's just a water trough out the front again, and a big shellac poster, and in it right now is Abby and she's training um, Zeus and he is an Andalusian stallion um, and he was a he's part of the wild herd in the indoor arena though they could get a head collar on him so they've started training him so that is it for the arenas if you come to the left of the arenas, you'll get to the big house. So this is where Prue's family live, um, on the stables. 
and they have two very nice horse signs, uh, not signs, flags, <laughs> and over in the paddock outside their house is uh, just two people who are saying hello to this very uh, newborn little filly called Seastar, and Seastar's a Hanoverian, and she's wearing a cute coat, and next to Seastar is a ball that she likes to play with, and in the back there is Seastar's mum, Havana, and she's looking lovely in her coat. And they have a shelter in their field. And yeah, across in the next paddock is Katniss, and she is the special Tinker Mare, and another one of my favourites. She's really pretty. And behind her is Storm, our Holsteiner Mare. In, well, like, almost in the house, we have just two chickens that are hanging out. And over to the right is Sausage. And Sausage is a sausage dog. And just drinking from a bowl. And we just have some nice flowers outside the house. And another one of those nice gates. And inside the house is Chip. And Chip is a mini schnauzer. And he's just keeping guard on the house. I'm not going to go inside the house because then that would take forever. But uh, I might do a separate house tour video. But that's their house. That's all you need to know. And coming to the left, back out, if we're back outside the stables, um, you'll get to the first paddock that we saw. And in the first paddock is foals, yearlings, geldings, and mares can go in here. So it's a huge paddock, though I think it's just foals mainly in here right now. So if you come in through the gate, the first little filly in here, well, yearling, um, is Pixie, and she's an Appaloosa. In over here is Pogo, our Tennessee Walker yearling. And next to her is governor and he is a Tennessee Walker colt. Over here is Pumpkin, the very cute quarter horse foal. Here we have Mischief and Mischief is a Holsteiner foal and here is his friend Scout and Scout is an Andalusian foal. And in the back there they have a huge hay bale and a big water trough and <laughs> not far from it is Peach and he is a Shetland gelding and he's a bit dejected about being put in a field full of foals so he's just sulking in the corner. Over here um, in the back we have Midnight and she is a Mustang yearling and she's not Shellac, she's Papo and I customised her and made her black but she really works well with Shellac so I just have her as a Shellac. Um, in front of her is Cloudy, the very cute Tinker Foal. Next to Cloudy is Brownie, the Arabian Foal. And in the front is one of my favourite foals, and this is Blondie, a Halflinger Foal. Okay, that's it for the barn tour. So I'm just going to give you a quick overview from a different perspective, so you can see how everything ties together. Okay everyone, thank you very much for watching, sadly that is it for this barn tour, though I hope you really enjoyed it, and if you did, of course leave a like down below and subscribe to my channel, if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!